a girl's trip and I just got to my hotel. I can't even enter the vlog before I give you a room tour. I have never been in a place this nice. I'm freaking out. Starting at the front, there's an entryway, a literal entryway and a bathroom. And you might be thinking, okay, standard hotel bathroom. No, this is like the powder room in case I can't make it to the real bathroom. That's how big this hotel room is. Mirror situation. This, this is our living room, I guess. This bar, a whole bar, a couch. You're coming home with me. You are coming home with me. Oh, um, that lamp might actually be coming home with me. The patio, the balcony. Look at how big that is. What? Little work spot? Oh my gosh. Now we're going into the actual room, which has another couch. They lose a point for that, but that's okay. Um, what? And then this is the real bathroom. This is like the actual bathroom. I'm flabbergasted. I literally am speechless. Over the past like week, I've had so many moments of like, what the hell am I doing in life? Like, what am I doing? I just got back from Stagecoach, which was just like such a cool, but like also very like overstimulating experience for me. Cause I was like, go, go, go for three days, like socializing a lot. Like I just don't really do that to be honest. And now this, just even being in this hotel room, I'm like, what the heck is my life right now? This is crazy. I'm so excited to be here. For a little context, I just got back from Stagecoach on Monday evening at like midnight. I had all day Tuesday. I say all day, it felt like it flew by. But I had all day Tuesday to pack, unpack, pack, take meetings, work, whatever. And then this morning, which is Wednesday, I got up at 6 a.m. and flew here. So. Super tight turnaround. My throat and my voice is like a little funky right now, but it's mainly um, from like the dust at Stagecoach. I don't think I'm actually sick. It's something called Coachella cough, also known as festival flu. No one told me about this, but apparently it's just like your lung, your lungs and all the dust. I don't know. You get like this nasal situation. I've been feeling better every day. So I think hopefully by like tomorrow or the next day, I'll be like 100%. But I'm here in Miami for a girl's trip with Laura. And then Lauren is going to join us in a couple of days because after this, I want to just extend the trip. I want to stay in Miami the whole time in this, this apartment, this hotel room. It feels like an apartment. I think this is bigger than my apartment. I'm freaking out. Today's Wednesday. We're going to leave Miami on Friday. So we have two nights in this hotel. And then on Friday, we fly from Miami. Miami to Turks and that's where Lauren will join Laura and I it's gonna get a little confusing um, but it's just like a girl's trip Laura Laura is pregnant and we've been always like we've wanted to take a girl's trip for like the past year and she got pregnant we we're like okay we like have to take a girl's trip soon because pretty soon it's not just gonna be a girl's trip it's gonna be a girl plus baby I feel like we're kind of on her like baby moon together right now but that's why we chose Turks because apparently there's like I obviously wouldn't know this but there's like certain countries and stuff that you can't travel to or it's not advised that you travel to as a pregnant woman because of like mosquitoes and stuff I don't know, but she's okay with going to Turks, so that's why we're going to Turks. But we're in Miami first for a couple of days, but now seeing this hotel room, I want it to be more than a couple of days. I think she's gonna be here in like an hour or two, so I might just unpack and like get settled. I don't wanna leave the room. Oh my gosh, they could put this hotel in the middle of like Nebraska and I would visit, okay, no shade to Nebraska. I have a friend that lives in Nebraska, but you know what I mean. Why is this hotel, like I never wanna leave this room. This is the vacation. I don't wanna leave the room but I should leave the room. So I think the one needs to have like a new business strategy where they just put these in like really undesirable locations. So then I won't feel bad about not leaving the room. Doing something a little out of character this trip, at least this leg of the trip. I'm not unpacking all the way. I have my suitcase open on that little bench over there because the closet isn't actually as big as it looks. I hung up a couple of things and then I put some stuff in this drawer and I have all of my shoes. I don't know why I packed this many shoes. When I tell you I was like panic packing last night, I have not been well over the past couple days between these two trips. I, I'm not the type of person that can just like carefree, jet set, no. No, I need to plan, I need weeks, I need mood boards, and I had none of that, but it's okay. I wanna edit a TikTok and post that while I wait for Laura, but she just landed, so I feel like she'll be here in about 30 minutes. Let me get my computer, and we can go sit in the living room. I might, should I make a coffee? I think he said he, my friend at the front desk. I think he told me there was a coffee shop on this level of the hotel. This is the second level. Let me show you outside. The outside is gorgeous. Oh 
crazy. Apparently there's like beach access. I didn't really do a lot of researching. I just know this is like Danielle always talks about this hotel, so I was like, I gotta stay there. She buys the candles. Now I get it why she buys the candles. I'm gonna have to buy candles. Oh, and speaking of Danielle, Danielle and Brooke are in Miami at the same time as me, but they're on like a Revlon trip. And Danielle's flight is like later in the evening, but like, you know how hotel checkout is like always like 11 or 12. And then if your flight's later, you like have to figure out something to do with your bag. So I think on Thursday, Danielle's actually gonna come here and like put her bags in our room, like hang out with us. Maybe we'll go to the beach or like, go to the pool or something together. I really need to edit that video, but I'm gonna go see if there is a coffee shop on this floor. All right, it's official. I'm never leaving this hotel. What the heck? This place is so cool. Laura has arrived, and we're at Joe and the Juice trying the. Well, have you had it? Tunicado. The tunicado that everyone on TikTok talked about like six months ago. <laughs> I'm just now trying it. Okay, this is so good. I feel like I need to find the recipe online and make it when I get back home because this can't be that hard. We spent the afternoon at the rooftop pool before our dinner reservation. Laura actually went to the University of Miami and I kind of forgot about that. So she has like all of these like actual <laughs> local recommendations. So she's picked out all of our restaurants and stuff for this trip. I'm actually gonna paint my nails because I didn't have time to do them before I left just because of like the quick stagecoach turnaround. So I brought one of these little mini macaroon nail kits. This is the light. So you can really only do one nail at a time but it's a one-step polish, and I just picked this like bubblegum pink one because I thought that would be fun for Miami and like Turks and everything. But I'm gonna paint my nails right now because I'm crazy. And I don't know, I just hate looking back and like seeing a picture, like even just like taking a picture, like holding a drink or something, and like my nails are all scraggly. I feel like I use my manicures to like track life events almost. Like I did like my stagecoach nails and then like nails for like Mary's wedding and stuff like that. Like I always associate certain like manicures with like different fun things. So I wanted my stagecoach nails gone. Not that this color is gonna be like crazy fun. It's just like pink, but I like having different nails and like different pictures because I do my own nails so I can remember them better. And I feel like the same way people associate certain memories with perfumes, I feel like I do that with manicures, if that makes any sense. But I'll quickly paint these and then get ready for dinner. Okay, it's not my best work, not my worst work. Actually, they look pretty good on camera. I just forgot to buff out like the texture of like the remaining gel on my nails. So some of them are kind of bumpy, but this is what I'm gonna wear tonight. It's this little like neon revolve dress that I've had for a really long time and just never wore. I feel like I was, this trip is perfect for this because I honestly don't know where I would've worn this in Raleigh, but it'll look good. I feel like I'm gonna look so tan. This was like the best night to wear this too because my spray tan is so fresh that this color needs like a really good tan. <laughs> the difference, Laura just informed me. She was like, where's your jacket? We're in Miami. No one told me to bring a jacket. I always have to bring a jacket in the office. Hopefully I don't freeze. I did a ponytail because I don't have time to do my hair, but I think it looks really cool with this dress. I like this. It's kind of like an asymmetrical number with like knots on it. I don't know. Cute. And then I'm just wearing little heels and then I have like a white tan shoulder bag. The last second, I packed a different foundation. I found this one sitting in the back of my makeup little cabinet thing. And it's a Sephora Best Can Ever. I used to use this before I switched to the Kosas one. And this is darker than the Kosas one, so that's why I packed it. It's in shade 20N, and it actually matches perfectly to the spray tan. I feel like my face always looks a little too pale when I get a spray tan. I just can't ever find, like, a good in-between of, like, a foundation that works when I'm pale, spray tan, whatever. Anyways, this looks really good. I just used this for the first time in probably, like, a couple years. It's this Sephora Best Skin Ever Longwear Foundation, but it looks great. And this is like relatively affordable for Sephora. I think it's like $20. I love like rediscovering products. I'm so glad I brought this. I'm home from dinner. I'm about to have a wild first night in Miami filled with Sudafed Sinus Congestion, Afrin, and Ginger Shot. When we were about to go to bed, we discovered that the balcony door doesn't lock. Gorgeous. So we have maintenance drilling a new door jam. But I'm glad we noticed it and I'm glad they could fix it because it would have been really annoying to have to like pack everything up. Like we just got settled in. It would have been so annoying to pack everything up and switch rooms. And I probably would have just like fallen asleep without even checking that door if I'm honest. So like once you know something like that, you can't like sleep easy, you know? So he's out there fixing it and I'm melting off my makeup. How cute is this little pajama set that I got? There's matching shorts. 
like a satin material i got it at target a couple weeks ago it came in like a boxed <laughs> gift set with a oh actually come to think of it it's probably for mother's day I don't know it came in a box gift set with like an eye mask too at first i thought that was kind of random but it's definitely for mother's day there. a new islander has entered the villa <laughs> How long have you been thinking of that line? <laughs> it just right. came to me, it just came New to me. character unlocked. I got an Aperol Spritz, Danielle's behaving herself, she has a Shirley Temple, <laughs> and then Laura has a virgin pina colada. Thank you. Food hall, what's this gonna be? Oh, that's wow. what I Oh. What's that guy? Oh, quesadilla. Yeah. Oh, guys, this looks good. Very happy. Oh, your salad looks good. Made our way up to the rooftop pool because they couldn't serve us fries on the beach. So we're here to get some fries and get the last couple hours of sun before dinner. An islander has been voted out of the villa. Dude, they're making me shut my own suitcase. Don't they come in and take it for you? Danielle was killing time here before her late night um, flight, and I like just speed showered because I didn't want to miss her send off. And this is what I come out to. Okay, this is tonight's dinner outfit. Another thing that I just had like sitting in the back of my closet. This is from Revolve 2. This was so tight on my arms when I first put it on, but like now it feels, it feels fine. And I'm wearing it with little like kitten heel things. I wore this last night too. We're going to... This is also from Revolve. Is it? We're going to Mr. Chow's. Yeah, Which Chow's. is Laura's stomping grounds in the 90s. I'm not that old. <laughs> <laughs> dinner was great. Got home, took my makeup off, was about to go to bed, and I was completely oblivious to the milk and cookies that was left on the table in here. I don't think I mentioned this earlier, but a follower of mine, I guess, works at the hotel that I'm staying in, and she found like my reservation and sent us up a bottle of Prosecco. So I don't know if this is like a normal thing or if this is her again. Do you think this is normal? Oh my gosh i'm about to put the milk in this <laughs> goblet <laughs> i'm so excited i almost didn't notice these imagine if i didn't notice them till morning last morning in miami we got more pure vita delivered to the apartment or to the hotel feels like an apartment we got the same thing as yesterday the avocado toast acai bowl we added eggs to the avocado toast and then two iced lattes and i got laura a vegan chocolate chip cookie <gasps> since she couldn't eat the cookies last night that was so nice i could cry and now i have to finish getting ready before we leave for the airport danielle was using this tanning oil yesterday it's spf 50 but she was getting so tan I kept looking over at her and I was so jealous because I was like, how are you getting so dark right now? But it's this. Hopefully, I mean, I actually look pretty tan right now, but I also have a spray tan, so I'm like not sure if that's like actually a suntan. Um, my shoulders did get a little red, so I'm gonna have to watch them to make sure they don't get any worse. But I'm gonna put this on my shoulders and anywhere that got like a little sunburn. I think like my stomach got some like right here. So this is gonna be on the sunburn and this is gonna make me golden brown everywhere else. I'm so excited. Goodbye, beautiful hotel room. All right, off to the airport where actually both Laura and I were able to check in for our flights. It was like rejecting our passport numbers. So stay tuned to see if we actually make it to Turks because it's up in the air. 50 on the dot. Mine was 56, so this is coming with me, but I took out like my full size products. Yeah. You're kidding. Yeah. Um, you and sure a little bit. Thank you. And we're <laughs> come on, let me out of here. Oh my god. We need a room tour. We need a room tour. Wait, are you using the restroom? I am Pete, but you're more than welcome to come in. Okay. Not the Aesop hand soap in the bathroom. Not the Dyson air wrap. They really said we're not balling on a budget. Lauren, you don't get a robe, I'm sorry. Huh? I have to go nude? <laughs> Bathroom, bed, couch, Bathroom. window. I just noticed this. It says an extra amenity has been placed in the refrigerator for your enjoyment and it was chocolate cake. Okay, enough about the room. We're changing and we're gonna go down to the pool. It's actually Cinco de Mayo, so we're gonna go get some margs and some
from Chips and Dip. Hopefully guacamole. I'm going to wear this little Skims bikini. I actually love the cut of their string bikinis. They're worth every penny. And then I'm going to do like a fun necklace too because I don't know. I just feel like I need to do that. And it's like island vibes. So going to change into this and then we're going to go down to the bar. Uh, oh what? my god is this a tiny cake under a tiny little dome <laughs> <laughs> i thought it was about to be like a bug the way you reacted wow what is it it looks like carrot cake oh oh it tastes gluten free no it doesn't <laughs> I could get a toothbrush. Oh, but where do you think extra pillows are? Should we call down for extra pillows? Yeah. Well, when housekeeping brings my toothbrush. I can't believe that I have a fiendy brush tonight. This is a nice sofa. Oh, yeah. Did you see this? I like it worse. Whoa, what? Is that? Thank you. Can we also get sheets and pillows for the sofa bed? Okay, thank you. We woke up early to watch the sunrise and then came up to the room to change. I'm wearing this like jumpsuit situation from Free People. It's from the Free People Beach Line. And we found out that our hotel room comes with free breakfast, which maybe we should have known from the start, but I mean, that's a nice surprise. We're gonna go down and get some breakfast, but we already staked our claim at a couple of beach chairs. So I think we're gonna do like a beach day. Are we gonna go on a boat? Yeah, we're okay, we're gonna go book a boat. <laughs> we couldn't decide. <laughs> this decision has been literally 48 hours in the making. Oh, it's a spread. Wow. The smell of the French toast. Let's get this party started. We spent the morning down by the beach. Since we were up so early, we got to the beach at like 9.30 and we stayed there until 12 because we booked a boat that's gonna take us out from like 1.30 to 5.30 today. We arranged it with a concierge, so like I've never done that, but I guess that's like a known thing. You can just like arrange it with your hotel concierge. I would have like never known how to like get a boat. I would probably end up on like <laughs> a crime documentary from a bootleg Turks and Caicos boat tour. We're getting ready. We're mastering the art of the bikini beat. The perfect amount of makeup it's to fun. wear when you're gonna be on a boat. On a boat. Yeah. The boat bikini Where's beat. Not too much. We're off the boat and ready for dinner. We're gonna go take some sunset pics. What are you wearing, Lauren? We're giving. Rent the runway, but I don't know that what's the brand. Tell me. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. Ronnie Kobo. Okay. Ronnie Kobo. That was the dress I wore the other day. Ronnie Kobo. Free people shoes. One of her first slicked back looks. Ever. What do we think? She's slaying. <laughs> we both did slick backs because we got off the bone. We were like, we don't have time like, to like I salvage the hair. Ball hair. I'm in this Abercrombie dress. Little heels. We're slicking it back. Yeah, we're we're going full slick. What are you wearing? I'm wearing a Reformation dress. Oh, love. Jimmy Choo shoes. Period. Laura was packing and she's like, ah, I'm just gonna bring these old things. Oh, and she no. like shows them on FaceTime and I'm like, the Jimmy Choo's. Not the old things being <laughs> Jimmy Choo's. These are not. Be careful not to get like the. I'm not gonna put the sauce on okay. until like, it's yeah. okay. airport. Right. Give me the french fries right now. Do you wanna play this way? Mm. Okay. Lauren's last day in Turks. We're gonna go down and get our hotel breakfast and then we're gonna go to the pool before she has to head out. Laura and I are here till Tuesday, so we're gonna do pool until Lauren leaves because that way she won't get like all nasty and sandy. And then Laura and I will go down to the beach. But it was supposed to be, I think it was supposed to rain today and we were a little bummed, but this is the perfect weather. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, this looks like a postcard. I made a little breakfast sandwich with all the stuff on the buffet. And the iced coffee is, I feel like the iced coffee is really good. I do too. So good. I do. And we got little green juices. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna have such FOMO. You're gonna have FOMO? Lauren's going to... Cayman Islands. <laughs> Literally, she leaves okay. tomorrow, so don't feel bad for her. <laughs> We're eating lunch at the conch shack. They get the conchs out of the water, bring them up in a wheelbarrow, and then they crack them over there, and then they serve them to you. How fun is this? We're back at the hotel and we're at the pool. 
it's like really overcast now. Well, I mean, it's later in the day, but but the UV is like five, so we're gonna take an outdoor nap because Laura said we're not allowed to nap in the room right now. We have to nap outdoors. So we're at the pool, gonna nap out here. Explain why. We're like outside in a beautiful oasis. I ain't getting into the bed. Time for dinner, although we just looked out the window at the beach bar that we thought we were eating at and it looks like they're packing it up for the night. So we might have to pivot plans. I think this thing on my cheek is like acne that got like aggravated by maybe like a little bit of a sunburn. This is my dinner outfit tonight. Just this midi dress from Abercrombie. I love it so much. I think this one actually runs big because I got it in a size too small and I thought that it was going to not fit. But if it's like a glove, it's perfect. So if you buy this size down, I just have some jewelry on, obviously no makeup, and then wet hair from my shower. But the nap was exactly what we needed. And now we're gonna go and hopefully try and find some food. You just have to document your one non-alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's tonight's little treat? Oh, uh, what? Is this fun, Fetty? No. Oh, I think that's coconut. I think it's coconut related. And then look, we didn't notice this at first, but they've been putting tomorrow's forecast written down on our bed. Only a high of 81. What? That's kind of crazy. Our last full morning. We leave tomorrow in the afternoon, I think. So we have kind of like the morning, but today we're gonna go on a beach walk. We saw that there was yoga classes, but it turns out the yoga classes were only from Thursday to Sunday. So we were like, oh, we'll take one on Monday. But kind of played ourselves out of that. But we're gonna take a long beach walk this morning, get some breakfast, and then I think the plan is just to like absolutely roast at the beach all day. Maybe go back to the pool and then switch to the beach, which is like my favorite thing to do. I will admit I'm getting a little burnt, so it's probably good that this is like the end of the trip. I'm wearing one of Laura's gold triangle bikinis in this little show me your moo moo like crochet set and then these abercrombie platform shoes that i've been wearing like the whole trip i don't know if you can see but because they have this little piece of elastic right here they're so comfortable they're not too tight on your foot they like have enough stretch and i just like packed them they came in the mail the day that i was packing i threw them in my bag didn't even try them on or anything but there was like no breaking in period which is kind of unusual for me with sandals and stuff so i really like these these were like my favorite thing that I packed. I'm going to do a TikTok later, actually, of favorite things that I packed since I've been traveling so much over the past couple of weeks. I think that'll be like a fun TikTok. All showered and ready for dinner, wearing this little linen dress on our last night here. This is from Abercrombie. It's so cute. Might have to get this in other colors, too. I like that it's, like, high in the back. I don't know. I feel like this is, like, a good classy basic. And we're going to walk to this restaurant that's, like, five minutes down the beach from where we're staying. I'm going to have to probably, while I, like, maybe while I get ready for bed, I'll give a rundown of, like, the name of our resort places we've liked, stuff like that in case you're watching this video while you're planning for a trip. I'll give names of like everywhere because I don't think I've done like a good job at that so far. But we're gonna walk down to somewhere. It's literally called somewhere. It's this little like beach bar thing that was right across from where we went snorkeling earlier. Wearing the Abercrombie dress that she wore yesterday. That's so cute and it looks really cute with a bum. And yes, I'm wearing a jacket. Laura's the type that's like, bring a jacket and I'm like, it's 85 degrees. <laughs> place dinner is just like right down there okay I don't know if you can see it but there's like buoys in the water and that marks the reef so we were able to like snorkel all around it but this was like so close to the hotel and now this is where we're eating for dinner so the question of the night is what flavor our treat will be I think it's gonna be chocolate cake Laura thinks it's gonna be chocolate cake what is it it's a singular cookie. What? Chocolate chip. Chocolate chip cookie. All right, final verdict on somewhere would be to go somewhere else. But in the defense of the man who recommended it to us, he did tell us to go for lunch and order the tacos. And we went for dinner and I ordered the fish sandwich. So I think but I did this. he said the drinks were good and- Yeah, he also said the drinks were good and my margarita kind of tasted like windshield wiper fluid. So would not recommend. Do you see how burnt? It's not even that my face is burnt. Like I've been blowing my nose like crazy. I mean, my face is really burnt. 
but I've been blowing my nose so much so like I had makeup on my nose and now it's like, all gone. But speaking of going somewhere else, we are gonna get some room service now. We're gonna order from the restaurant in the hotel, which like honestly is so good. We're staying at the Waimara and the hotel restaurant is indigo and a lot of people like come to the hotel to eat here so even if you don't stay here like i think it's still like a restaurant to eat at or like consider while you're here and then there's also a restaurant like the beach bar here is called pink bar we've been eating that a lot so i think like our logic was like oh, let's go somewhere somewhere for the last night and wow that was kind of a flop but it's okay i'm gonna try and put on some pajamas let's see what i have i'm like running on fumes in terms of outfits and stuff i do not know what i mean i actually do know what was going through my head when i was packing i was so like discombobulated because I was packing and unpacking from Sagecoach at the same time, but like nothing that I brought makes any sense. Our plan is also to wake up at five o'clock tomorrow morning like we did on Saturday morning because that made Saturday feel so long. Obviously we were up early, but we have to leave for the airport at 12. So we're gonna have like a full jam packed morning. We're gonna wake up, go on a little walk, watch the sunrise, and then we'll get breakfast, lay by the pool, pack everything up. I posted a TikTok tonight of like my favorite rapid fire travel things that I've packed for my last couple of trips. And one of them is buying like the mini sizes and having like my full skincare routine with me when I travel. Like I have all of the products that I usually use at home, but in the travel size so I can continue my same routine. And I feel like that helps a lot. If you're the type of person that breaks out a lot when you travel, I mean, obviously there's factors like, you know, the water of where you're staying or like the airport or like the airplane. But in terms of skincare, I always used to just go to like the travel section at Target and buy whatever mini face wash they had and just stuff like that which was not necessarily what my skin was used to so i feel like i was almost breaking out because my skin was getting used to new products and then i would get home and my skin would have to like get used to my regular products again i was about this during the sephora sale too because i think that's a great time to kind of stock up on the minis because sometimes they feel a little bit expensive but a lot of the times like the size of the packaging like this is like the deep bronzy drops the normal packaging for that is technically like carry-on safe i'm a carry-on girl if you can't tell i like try and keep everything within those size regulations because i don't even like to check full size like over the limit products if I can avoid it because I don't like to check anything that I would theoretically like need during my trip. So I like to have my makeup and my skincare with me and my carry-on or in my personal item regardless of how many bags I'm checking just because that's something that's like not easily replaceable. Like I was saying, even if the full size is technically carry-on safe, I like getting the mini size because you can fit so many more steps in your bag and a lot of the times they're refillable. So you're really just like paying for the packaging and obviously the product that's in it. And then you can refill this with your like regular size product at home. We're gonna go down and get some breakfast. Laura's better than me. She already has like the majority of her stuff packed up over there, but mine is not. But you wanna know the weirdest thing? I don't think I even showed this when we did like the hotel room tour, but this hotel room has a scale. And I'd like to think it's because I can weigh my luggage with it. At least that's what I'm gonna use it for. But is that not like kind of weird for a hotel to have in the room? Is that normal? I don't know. Never mind. Laura has informed me that a scale in the hotel is normal. I don't think it's normal. But our last day with this view, we're gonna go enjoy it. Showered, changed into an airport outfit, at least for the first leg of my trip. I'm just gonna wear this little Outdoor Voices cutout exercise dress, and then I have like leggings and a sweatshirt to wear if I'm actually cold, but supposedly the Turks and Caicos airport has like no air conditioning, so I'm prepared to roast to death while I wait for this flight. We're all packed up. Grab my Diet Coke. Our flight was actually delayed by like 30 minutes, so we were able to push our checkout time and push our ride to the airport, so we have time to go eat some lunch before, which is also good because I don't think we would have had many food opportunities. I am a little blistered, like legitimately blistered on my nose. I don't think you, sh you can see it. I don't know if you should see it, but I think it's also because I was blown my nose so much that every time I blow up my nose I didn't really think about it but I was like wiping the sunscreen off the very tip of my nose so I'm like honestly a little worried I feel like I might have to go to the dermatologist about that because that's not good I like, don't want to leave but I'm also like so excited to just be home and get back into my routine and like unpack and just like live a normal life because I love having a schedule I think on the plane I might actually book some class pass classes and just like kind of schedule out the rest of my week but we're gonna go eat lunch we're gonna do a little work on the plane and I will probably see you in the next vlog. I don't know if I will have a chance to talk to you after this. I've been really good about linking all my outfits and stuff on Like to Know It. So if you saw something I was wearing and I didn't specify where it was from, go check my Like to Know It because it might be on there. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you enjoyed all my travel content. I promise I will be back in Raleigh soon. Lots of home content coming, but I will see you in the next video.